All right, AP Stat, here is your first simulation example, and I am going to read it to you because it is important that you read all of these directions in these problems so that you can do a good job with your simulation. All right, so Susan is shooting free throws in the gym practicing for the game tonight. Her shooting percentage is 70%, so that means she makes about 70% of her shots and she misses about 30%. She usually gets the chance to shoot 10 free throws during a game. So we are going to simulate her performance tonight using a random number table. And I actually should have changed that. We're gonna use a random number generator and I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just a second. All right, you're then told to do three trials and you're going to use the average of the three trials to predict how many free throws she will make tonight. Now, here's the thing. I already know her shooting percentage is 70%. So she's probably gonna make about 70% of her shots tonight, but I don't know that for sure. So I'm going to, rather than wait until the game tonight, I am going to simulate what I think her shooting um, average might be. Okay, so how am I going to do this? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is refer to your list um, in your first video about all of the things we need to include. And I'm just going to jot these down as we go so that I can talk you through them. And then we're gonna write out formal instructions and carry out our trials. All right, so the very first thing, it should include what you are using to implement randomization. Well, I've already indicated to you in the problem that we will be using a random number generator. Okay. Um, the next thing, be specific about what each outcome will represent. Well, if, I've, if I'm going to um, simulate 10 free throws, then that means that I am going to have 10 numbers and 70% of them need to represent uh, a made shot, okay? So in other words, 70% of the numbers that I choose will represent a made shot and 30% will represent a missed shot. Now, how is that gonna look? Well, I could pick 100 numbers and 70 of them could represent making the shot and 30% could represent missing the shot. Or I could just, I could do that 10 times, all right? I could do that or I could um, use 10 numbers and let seven of them represent a made shot and three of them represent a missed shot. It does not matter. When you are dealing with percentages, you can go, well, when you're dealing with percentages that end in zero, you can use 10 numbers or you can use 100 numbers. You can use 1,000 numbers, okay? It doesn't matter. All right, the next thing we need to talk about, mention any outcomes that need to be ignored. Well, since I'm looking at percentages here and I'm only going to simulate those 10 shots, that is not a necessary step for this particular problem. Okay, the next thing we need to make sure to indicate what to do if an outcome is repeated. So in other words, if I get two fives in a row, let's say, is that okay? Well, since um, if I'm using 10 numbers and I let these numbers, represent a made shot? Well, since six represents the same thing as three, represents the same thing as two, one, four, five, and seven, does it really matter if I get a repeat? No, it doesn't. So repeats are totally acceptable. We're gonna let those count. Okay, so repeats are okay. It doesn't matter if we get a repeat. The only time it's gonna matter if we get a repeat is if um, a particular number represents one item or person that can only be chosen once. But since percentages, since multiple numbers represent the same thing, we're good to go. All right, um, indicate when the trial should stop. Well, I'm choosing 10 numbers, okay? Because those 10 numbers are going to represent the 10 free throws, so I'm stopping at 10. All right, um, make sure you indicate what results you're uh, recording. So you're re going to record how many she makes tonight. So her made free throws. So that's just, um, those are just the things that I want to talk to you about in order to write your description. So remember, these problems are going to consist of a list of directions that anyone who's familiar with the simulation can follow and carry out. 
The trials, okay, these three trials are completely separate from that because I could have told you to do 10 trials or 100 trials or 3,000 trials. The trials are completely separate from the set of directions because the set of directions are going to be carried out for each individual trial. All right, so how am I going to write this? Well, I'm going to start by this. Using a random number generator, I will choose 10 numbers to represent Susan's free throws in tonight's game. Okay. I will let one through seven represent a made free throw and eight, nine, and 10 will represent a miss. Okay, um, repeats will be counted. They're okay. Repeats will, and you can write repeats will be allowed, repeats will be counted, repeats are okay. All of that stuff means the same thing. So repeats will be counted. And we will record how many, oops, she makes, okay? So those are the directions, and now we're going to carry out the trials. The directions and the trials are completely separate, okay? Because these directions are good for every single individual trial I'm going to look at. So now, so I'll have room, I'm going to get rid of this stuff because those were just notes to help you understand writing the directions out. Okay, just wanna make sure and don't I don't erase anything else because you know I do that sometimes. All right, so how are we going to do this? Well, I am going to go to my random number generator, and I've already got it set up here to, um, to choose my 10 numbers. I've got a minimum of one and a maximum of 10, so I am just going to hit generate 10 times so that I will know what I've got here. And I'm going to record these on paper, which you can't see me do that, but that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna generate this. Okay, I got a 10, a nine, a six, a three, an eight, a four, another 10, come on, a seven, an eight and a two. Okay, so those are my ten, um, my ten numbers. And remember, I am told to do three trials. So I'm going to go ahead and start my next trial right now. And I'm writing all this down. I'm going to write it down for you here in a minute when I get done with this. Okay, so these are my next set of ten numbers. And remember, repeats are okay. That's why I'm recording all of those. Okay, that's my next 10 numbers. So now I'm gonna run my trial, a new, a new trial. So I've got a five, six, one, five, four, another five, six, eight, three, and six. Okay, so those are my three trials. So we'll go back to our notes here. All right, so in trial number one, remember what we're counting, all right? So in each of those trials, I chose my 10 numbers, 
and I wrote them down. So in trial number one, let's see how many I got that represents how many she made. So I got in trial number one, I got 10, 9, 6, 3, 8, 4, 10, 7, 8, and 2. Okay, so her made shots. Well, 1 through 7 represents a make. So I've got there, 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 and there. So I've got 5 for that trial. Okay, in trial number 2, the numbers I got... All right, here, my made, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, and in my third trial, I got five, six, one, five, four, five, six, eight, three, and six. So in this one, I got nine as well. Make sure I counted those right, yeah? Okay, so in my three trials, I got... 5, 9, and 9. And then, of course, I am told to use the average of the three trials to predict how many free throws she'll make tonight. So I'm going to take 5 plus 9 plus 9, and I'm going to divide that by 3. So that is going to be, let me make sure I get my decimal right here. So 9 and 9 is 18. 18 plus 5 is 23. So 23 divided by 3, 7.6. Okay, so how would I answer this? I expect Susan to make between seven and eight free throws in tonight's game. So is that a big surprise? No. It's not because she usually shoots about 70%, but I still had to simulate it so that I could show you what a simulation looks like, all right? So I want you to notice that um, this line I've drawn here, all of this stuff up here, these are all the directions. Those directions are represented here, here, and here. All right, I carried out trial one, two, and three. I carried out this set of directions three times down here. All right, so clearly um, describing the simulation is much more detailed than actually running it because it wasn't really that hard to choose those numbers from that random number generator. Hopefully that gives you some insight. We, were, we are going to continue with more examples.